welcome Miss Katie and I'm here with my daughters Rachel and Rebecca. Mr. Dole and I miss you so much at Preschool Bible Story Time that we thought we would try and sing the songs and Mr. Dole is going to read the stories and then you can have a Preschool Bible Story Time experience at home. We miss you. But let's sing some songs. You guys remember the words. Let's start with Hello Everybody. the light of mine. Remember we get our candle?
guitar down for a second as you all warm up those counting fingers for our next song. Two, three, Jesus loves me. One, two, Jesus loves you. Three, four, he loves you more than you've ever been loved before. Let's do it again. One, two, three, Jesus loves me. One, two, Jesus loves you. Three, four, he loves you more than you've ever been loved before. All right, everybody, let's stand up. I'm going to have to adjust my camera a little bit. Mr. Joel is, yay, stand-up songs. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it, do a three. Clap, clap, stomp. No. If you're happy and you know it, do a three. Clap, stomp. No. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do a three. When I wiggle, when I giggle, I know God loves me. When I'm walking, when I'm talking, I know God loves me. God's grace well for me makes me want to jump. God's grace love for me makes my heart go pump. I get a little. When I'm smaller, when I'm taller, I know God loves me. When I'm crying, when I'm flying, I know God loves me. God's great love for me makes me want to jump. God's great love for me makes my heart go thump. I am a person, a very blessed person. I am special as I can be. I am a person, a very blessed person. I love me. I like me. You are a person, a very blessed person. You are as special as you can be. You are a person, a very nice person. I like you, and you like me. Okay, let's sit down for one more song, friends. Oh, thank you, Rachel. Guitar back out. Jesus loves me. Yes, I know. Joel is going to read you some stories. 
Thank you again, Miss Katie and Rachel and Rebecca. Wonderful songs. I hope you enjoyed singing along with all of them. I know I did. I am so happy that you are back for another preschool Bible story time. Today we have two wonderful stories that I know that you will enjoy very much. And it's interesting, both of them are about boats. So let's get started with the first one. The first one is called Noah's Big Boat. Noah's Big Boat. Noah was God's friend. Noah made God happy. Noah tried to do just what God told him. Now Noah had three boys. Their names were Shem and Ham and Japheth. Do you have any friends named Shem, Ham, and Japheth? I know I don't know anyone. God said, Noah, make a big houseboat. Water is coming. Water will cover up everything. You will be safe on the boat. And Noah did what God told him. Look at that big boat. God said, Make rooms on the boat. Noah made rooms. God said, Make a window on the boat. Noah made a window. God said, Make a door on the boat. Noah made a door. <gasps> Look at that. God said, Put something to eat on the boat. Noah did what God told him. And God said, Put animals on the boat. Noah did what God told him. And into the houseboat went, look at all those animals. Oh, look at that. Mr. and Mrs. Cat. Mr. and Mrs. Horse. Mr. and Mrs. Dog. Mr. and Mrs. Pig. Mr. and Mrs. Grasshopper, Mr. and Mrs. Woolly Worm, Mr. and Mrs. Duck, and more animals, too. <gasps> then God said, hmm, what's God going to say next? <gasps> now you and your family get on the boat. So Mr. and Mrs. Noah got on the boat. Mr. and Mrs. Shem got on the boat. Mr. and Mrs. Ham got on the boat. And Mr. and Mrs. Jaffa got on the boat. And then... What else? God shut the door, and after a while, down came the rain. Drip, drip, drip. After a while, up came the water. Splash, splash, splash. And soon, water ran over the streets. Water ran over the houses, water ran over the little hills, and water ran over the big hills. Oh, my. Look at that big boat. Now the houseboat was floating. But Noah was safe inside, and his family was safe inside, and the animals were safe inside. Noah's family had something to eat. They gave the animals something to eat. Then they waited. They waited till the water went away. They waited till God said, It's time to get off the boat. Noah did what God told him. Mr. and Mrs. Noah got off the boat. Mr. and Mrs. Shem got off the boat. Mr. and Mrs. Ham got off the boat. Mr. and Mrs. Japheth got off the boat. Oh, I wonder if anything else gets off. What do you think? <gasps> Look at that. All the animals got off the boat. They walked and they ran and they crawled and hopped. And God said, I wonder what God said next. <gasps> Don't worry. The water won't come back. The water won't cover up the world anymore. And it never has. And God made a rainbow.
I really love that story. That's so much fun. I have another story, and this story is one of my favorites, and I know that you will enjoy it as well. This one, like I said, is another boat story, and it's called Simon and His Boat. Simon and His Boat Simon had a boat. And every day, got, Simon got into his boat and went splish splash out in the water to catch fish. Hmm. One time, Simon and his friends worked hard all night trying to catch fish. Do you know how many fish they caught? Hmm. I wonder. <gasps> Not even one. Let's go home, they said. So Simon and his friends took back the boat, splish, splash, and put it away. After a while, step, 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 Jesus came along. Now everybody wanted to get close to Jesus. Some big people pushed this way and little people pushed that way. There was so much pushing that Jesus got into Simon's boat. Simon, he said, please move your boat out to the water. I want to sit in it and talk to the people. Makes sense. Well, Simon wanted to please Jesus, so he did what Jesus said, and he pushed his boat, splish, splash, out into the water. Hmm. Jesus sat in the boat and the people stood beside the water and now everyone could see Jesus and everyone could hear him and then Jesus talked to them about God. When he was done talking, Jesus said, Simon, take your boat out into the deep water to catch some fish. Huh. Well, Simon wanted to please Jesus, so he said, We worked hard all night to catch fish. We didn't catch even one. But, I'll do what you say. So Simon made the boat go out where the water was deep. His brother went too, and they put their fishing net into the water. And all at once, oh, I think you're going like this. The net was full of fish. Big fish, wiggly fish, little fish. Oh my, Simon and his brother waved to their friends. Quick, come and help. Look at all those fish. Oh my, look at the fish. They're flying in the air. The friends came in their boat and they filled up both boats with the big fish, little fish, wiggly fish. Oh my, look at all those fish. <gasps> Simon and his friends looked at all those fish. Where had so many fish come from? Then Jesus told them something better than catching fish. <gasps> I wonder what that is. From now on, Jesus said, you will bring people to me. So Simon and his friends left the fish. They left the boats and they went with Jesus. I love all those fish coming onto the boat. That is such a wonderful story. I hope you enjoyed it too. It has been lots of fun reading stories to you. I hope you've enjoyed being here, listening to the stories and singing the songs. I know that I have enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Goodbye.